Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Peng here. Today we're gonna to go over the best routine designed to stretch out all your upper back, your neck, and your shoulder muscles in order to provide you pain relief. This will actually be a two-part series. This first video, we're gonna go over all the different stretches as well as the muscle groups that we're trying to target. The second video will be the routine done in real time so you can follow along with all the stretches. So the first muscle group we're gonna target is the upper trapezius, and we're gonna be doing 30 seconds on each side. So we're gonna start on our right side. So what you wanna do is put your right hand behind your back, drop your right shoulder to relax all of your shoulder muscles, and then try to touch your left ear to your left shoulder, just like this. And what you can do with your left hand is actually put it on top of your head, and then gently pull down, gentle traction down, and you're gonna get a deeper stretch by doing this. And where you're going to feel this is in the upper part of your right neck, right over here. Okay, and so let's try this on the left side. So that means left hand behind your left back, right ear, right shoulder, gentle traction down. And again, now this time, because it's on the left side, you're gonna feel it right here. And don't yank on your head, just gentle traction down to try to get a bigger and deeper stretch. So the next muscle we're gonna target is our levator scapula. So again, we're gonna start on our right side. So first put your right hand behind your back. And this time what I want you to do is actually to look down and then towards the outside of your left hip. Like you're trying to aim your nose towards the very outside of your left hip. It's really important to keep this right shoulder relaxed. And then with your left hand, gently pull down on your head. And where you're gonna feel this is right here in your levator scapula. So the levator scapula connects the bottom of your skull all the way down towards the medial border of your scapula. And it's a muscle that gets really tight, especially if you spend a lot of time in front of screens. Okay, so we're gonna also go on the other side. So to do your left side, left hand behind your back, relax the left shoulder, point your, point your nose down towards the outside of your right hip, and then gently pull down with your right hand. And again, on this side, you're gonna feel it in this big muscle group right here in your levator scapula. The next muscle group we're gonna target are the rhomboids, and the rhomboids sit on the inside of your shoulder blades. And this is a really common area for people to form these myofascial trigger points that cause a lot of pain. So what I want you to do is put your hands together like this and imagine you're trying to push something away. And as you're doing so, tuck your chin to your chest and try to form a ball with your upper back. And we're gonna hold this for a total of 30 seconds. And it's really important that you try to breathe through this stretch. And every time you breathe, try to sink in a little bit more and create a rounder ball to stretch out all those muscles in your upper back. Now we're gonna move on into some trunk rotations and we're gonna hold each side for 30 seconds. So I have my legs facing forward and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate my chest and my upper back towards my right side. And if you have a chair that you can hold on to to try to help you rotate, that can help provide some stability. Otherwise you can hold the bottom of a chair and, and, and get the same thing. Now if this is as far as you can get, don't worry, as you are holding that stretch, you should be able to try to rotate a little bit farther and a little bit deeper into that stretch. Okay, so to do the left side, again, my legs are facing forward, and now I'm rotating my chest towards the left side, hanging onto the back of a chair, and holding this for a total of 30 seconds. Now we're gonna move on into the shoulders, and the first thing we're gonna work on is shoulder external rotation. So external rotation is this motion. But in order to get a deeper stretch, what you can do with your left hand is bring it under your elbow, come around, wrap around, and then push down and you're gonna get a bigger stretch this way and where you should be feeling this is right out here. So as you push down with your left hand, you're gonna feel a bigger stretch on the outside of your right shoulder and we're gonna be holding each side for 30 seconds. So in order to do the left side, you, again, it's this motion, wrap your right hand up and around and then push down. And then where you're gonna feel it is towards the outside of your left shoulder when you're doing this, you're gonna feel it out here and holding this side for 30 seconds as well. Now we're gonna move on into our posterior capsule stretch, and the posterior capsule is all the way back here. So in order to stretch this area, we're gonna bend our elbow, bring it around, use our hand, and then push straight backwards this way. And again, where you're gonna feel it is in that posterior capsule all the way back here. And this is a very common area, especially if we're spending so much time in front of our computers and our keyboards and not moving, this area gets so tight. And so you really wanna be focusing on stretching that area. And you sometimes you do need to push a little bit harder in order to push straight back in order to stretch out this area. So to do the left side, again, bend your elbow, push, use your right hand and push it straight back. And where you're gonna feel it is all the way back here in that posterior capsule, and we'll be holding this for 30 seconds on each side. 
The next shoulder stretch we're gonna do is our inferior capsule. Now, in order to stretch this, bring your right hand above your head, bend your right elbow, use your left hand and push straight down. And where you're gonna feel this is in two places. The first is that inferior capsule of your right shoulder, and you're actually gonna feel it in your triceps. And what you can do is if this is not enough, sometimes you can actually lean towards your left side and where you can also feel it is right down here in your latissimus dorsi. And so to do the other side, bend your left elbow, right hand, push straight down, and you're gonna feel that in that inferior capsule. And if you want to, you can lean towards that right side a little bit to get a deeper stretch, as well as feel it in that latissimus dorsi on the left side. So the next thing we're gonna move on into is a neck pull down stretch. And we're gonna hold this for a total of 30 seconds. So what I want you to do is to try to touch your chin to your chest. Use both hands, put it at the top of your head and then just gentle traction down. And the goal of this stretch is to stretch out all of those tiny neck muscles that sit at the base of your skull right up here. And when these get too tight, it is a really common cause of persistent headaches and persistent migraines. And so stretching these muscles out are extremely important. And I'm just gonna hold this for a total of 30 seconds. The last stretch we're gonna do is to open up our chest and our anterior shoulders. And so what I want you to do is to clasp your hands, put it behind your back, push down and then push out. And then where you're gonna feel it is all over in the front of your chest as well as your anterior shoulders. And so we're holding this for a total of 30 seconds. This routine is excellent at stretching out all the upper back, neck, and shoulder muscles that cause pain. Feel free to jump straight into that real-time stretch routine to get relief. You'll want to aim to do this at least twice a day to get maximum benefit. Thanks and see you next time.